For most people that have never seen an aquascape, when they first see one, they're kind of blown away. It's this exciting new world that they didn't know was possible. There's a lot of invisible science that's happening in what looks like clearer water. You have to really understand how the plants work and how the plants grow, but aquascaping really is an art form. So we're taking plants and creating a living sculpture. It's the idea of capturing the essence of some part of nature and applying your own fingerprint. My name is Alex Winchell, and I am a filmmaker and aquascaper. This is my living room. It's filled with aquariums. But for me, it's a relaxing place to live, and it allows me to really surround myself with what I love most, which is the aquatic world. For a living, I create nature documentaries, and I apply that understanding of the natural world and that celebration of the natural world to the aquascaping that I create, making sure that people realize how beautiful life is just below the surface. When you create an aquascape, you start with your hardscape first, kind of the skeleton, and then you plant the aquarium, jamming small little bits of plant into your aqua soil. And it looks terrible initially. The three tanks that I have over here are in their early stages, kind of their adolescent phases, and they have a bunch of brown diatom algae, but that's a part of the process. And then you get into the pretty part of your aquascaping that's when you get explosions of growth. That usually happens around three to four months into your aquascape. Aquascaping is more about plants than it is about fish. The fish are the way that you add a little bit of movement into your aquarium. So a general aquascape most of the time won't last more than a year. You've done everything you can with this piece of art and it's time to try again and create something even better. So it's really important to document those aquariums while they're at their peak. And that's what led me down the path of sharing those aquariums with the world on a YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex and this is Tank Tested. It feels like a real privilege to get to go into someone's home and see a piece of artwork that almost no one else in the world is ever going to see. It also gave me the opportunity to go to an expert's house, pick their brain about the subject, and that really allowed me to kickstart and jumpstart my personal journey in aquascaping. Having an understanding of plants is critical to really succeeding at the art of aquascaping. Some plants don't need a lot of light and can carpet on the bottom of an aquarium. Other plants really need that high intensity light, so you've really got to select your plants carefully. There are hundreds of plants, and each plant has specific needs. So when you feel like you've finally figured out how a plant works and you're successful at growing it, it's a really exciting moment. And then you're ready to move on to the next plant. There's an invisible system of chemistry in each tank. Too little carbon dioxide and the plants can't grow. Too much carbon dioxide changes the acidity of our water. You'll end up burning the plants. Plants also need a bunch of other nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And then there are micronutrients, things like iron and chlorine, that they need just a little bit of. For some aquarists, they're really, really concerned about getting those parameters just perfect. But for me, I dose just enough of everything so that the plants can survive. It means my plants aren't quite as healthy as they could be, but I get to spend more time watching and less time tinkering. When you're first starting out, you're just happy to have your plants look healthy. But at some point, you start to play with art design, depth, and force perspective. There is an entire world of competition aquascaping. We have to take a photo of our aquarium, and then judges judge which aquarium in the world is best. Some people play with diorama style. There's also the jungle style. And then there are styles that are more regional. So there's the Dutch style. You have plants everywhere and you're highlighting the health of those plants. The Brazilian style, which is much more focused on vertical hardscape walls. There are a lot of different schools. The world of aquascaping is exploding, largely because of the internet. It's a really exciting world and people definitely want to dive in and create their own work of art. 
If you want to start with aquascaping, throw a bunch of stuff at the wall, see what sticks, and go from there. Now, I wouldn't do that with fish. Make sure your fish don't die. But with plants, you can plant a bunch of little trimmings and see what works, and then lean into what works rather than getting discouraged by what doesn't. The underwater world is filled with incredible plants, and if you can bring a little pocket of that natural world into your own home and have it be a beautiful experience, that's what everyone is after.